Hi all my friends. Um, this is really crazy. We're going through a cold front uh, here in the Portland area. <laughs> and uh, yeah, before getting out. But anyway, so in order to survive it, um, I have to tuck everything up with um, blankets and things like that. So I'm going to show you what you may have to do. Um, one thing to keep in mind that a lot of the doors are going to have um, uh, air that's going to seep through the doors or through the bottoms. They're just never sealed entirely well. Um, so anyway, so I have to have blankets everywhere doing the best I can to seal things up. Sometimes I can't go all the way underneath the chairs, but I do the best I can to block off the uh, front, you know, where all the, the uh, chairs. And this one has a lot of stuff behind here, so I can't really tuck it up too well. Um, anyways, it's, it's, if I'm tired too, I just want to show this while I have all this up. Um, because I don't know if I'm going to be out of getting out of town by tomorrow. And if I do, I'll be closer to the Eugene area and I'll be hopefully hooked up to um, shore power until I can get up over the, the pass up that direction, but we'll see how far I get. I, it's like six o'clock and I haven't been to bed yet. It's been a crazy last couple of days. <laughs> it really has been. But anyway, so yeah, one thing is cutting off your draft as much as possible. So I have that here and it really does help even though I can't quite get under underneath the chairs, um, but at least I can block off most of this and it really does help a lot. And then, like I said, so I have this going on here and making sure that down below here is where the um, batteries are kept. And there is always a pretty good draft that comes in th all through this area and through the door. So I just kind of taped it with some uh, duct tape and tucked it all in there. And actually, it is really helping a lot. Okay. And then another thing I've done um, on the floor, I'll see if I can show you. If not, I may have to show you in the daytime. But, um, but I have an exercise mat, and then um, underneath I've put carpet and another foam mat. So I think what I'll do is not say entirely a, a good you know goodbye um, after this clip I'll wait and show you in the morning but um, the more you can put down for insulation the better I actually put uh, one of those foam um, I don't know what they call it but it's kind of like a uh, it's like a, like a foam in a way I guess you would call it pretty similar to the material of this exercise mat very similar and I actually put that underneath the dog's kennel because I was really concerned about them. Because when they, when you do take out um, carpet, uh, definitely uh, it, it takes that insulation out <laughs> that helps as a buffer. Because one of the things that um, is not mentioned when you get a van, that there is going to be cold or drafts that are going to come from underneath the van itself. Remember, because the flooring isn't insulated. Um, very little is really insulated, um, even, you know, because of the um, windows and stuff like that. So I've got them pretty well insulated. But So anyways, yeah, you have to do that. And, um, and then there's a draft that will sometimes come underneath the cabinets down near the bottom. So with all the blankets and everything that I have for the dogs here, sometimes they like to come out. Um, that actually helps a little bit of the draft that will come underneath the cabinets. But you really have to feel around, find out where all those drafts are coming from the different places, and you really have to seal them up. <laughs> All right, well, I'm getting tired. Like I said, I've been up since, oh my gosh, it's six o'clock and I haven't been to bed, but I just thought, well, since this is, you know, kind of sealed up, go ahead and show you now. But anyways, okay, so I'm gonna go to bed and then when I get up in the morning, um, I will definitely try to uh, 
show you the flooring a little bit more what I've done and it's supposed to be 28 degrees tonight it's about um, let's see what it is it's well it says 34 but I know it's colder than 34 it's very icy out there I took the dogs out for potty and I would say it's a good 30 I think that gauge is a couple cut four degrees off so probably by 28 degrees out there all right I will um, see you guys. The thing's blinking, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to run out of time here. So, okay, I survived that cold front and everything. <laughs> but um, I want to also mention that uh, the earlier clip was before I left Oregon. And I actually have left Oregon. And I did a live update showing I was at my friend's house. So definitely go see that one that I've left um, Oregon and I'm in California. So there was a live update there. And But I noticed I didn't finish this video. I'm really trying to get some of my videos out <laughs> that I haven't had a chance to finish and release them because... I'm still using my Samsung. I have not or learned how to, sorry, to use um, the iPhone yet and the iMovie. So, or at least I'm learning the iPhone, but just not the iMovie. So I'm still using my Samsung and it's getting bogged down with all my clips and everything that's been going on. So I'm going to have a couple videos that will be released um, pretty much back to back just to get a couple uh, released so I can do new new filming. Okay. So I just noticed I did not finish how to um, keep yourself warm when you're going through such extreme cold temperatures below the, the 30. Okay. So again, I'm already in California. It's already, you know, way out of that cold. But just to finish this video, I think it's so important because like I said in the earlier clip, nobody tells you that how much cold can come through these vehicles or through the bottom or doorways okay so I already showed um, how I did the door so I'm going to show you how how I did the flooring at least um, somewhat in here to help as much as I can when I'm dealing with those kind of extreme cold temperatures okay all right so let me show you Okay, so there's the pops. And then, so what I've done under here is I have a carpet runner and it goes all the way in the back there. And then I have another pad underneath here. And there's two of those that are underneath the carpet. And then it also goes underneath the kennel. And then I have an exercise mat that's right there. And that's what was in the earlier clip that I rolled this out when I'm dealing with a really extreme, extreme cold, uh, I've had to put this down. So that really helps a lot on the flooring. And then of course, covering as much as, as the doorways, as I mentioned, to keep the um, cold from seeping through. <laughs> All right, well, I hope you found the video very helpful or just that information as you're getting into van life or an RV or something like that, that you do have to consider, uh, you know, uh, that they're not totally airtight. And so um, be prepared for that and just have a, a game plan because I didn't know that. And then I didn't have a lot of time. I was trying to get out of the, the state and so there wasn't any time to have any weather stripping redone on my doors or anything. But it's weird how I have air coming through the bottom of the cabin tree. That's the only spot I noticed and where the battery bank is down and through here. Um, so just kind of feel around and I just kind of plug up those areas the best I can. Um, so my heater doesn't have to work so hard or whatever heater system you decide to use uh, won't be working so hard. Okay. Um, all right. So I hope you found this video very helpful and what to do when you're, you know, trying to, you know, keep everything as airtight and warm as you can. And I love everybody and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.